Hello everyone, I welcome you back. In this video, we will be learning classical conditioning. We have learned in our previous lessons on the theories of learning, if you can still remember, we have learned the theories like the trial and error theory of learning conducted by Thorndike, in which the experiment was done on a cat, and also the insight learning theory in which Kohler, he conducted experiment on a chimpanzee named Sultan. Likewise, even in this theory of learning, the two psychologists, that is Pavlov and Watson, they conducted experiment on various animals like dogs, rats, and cats. And after this experiment, they came out with this new theory of learning, which is known as conditioned response theory, or simply as learning by conditioning. Watson and Pavlov have conducted many experiments on animals to come up with this theory and it went even to the extent that Watson he conducted experiment on a human child. First of all, we will be learning the experiment done by Pavlov and then I will come to Watson. Let us learn experiment by Pavlov. Pavlov, he had conducted many experiments and in one of the experiments, he tied a hungry dog onto the experimental table for a night. Now this experimental table was fitted with certain mechanically controlled device. It was also taken care that the dog was made comfortable so that there would be no distraction and the distractions were excluded as far as possible. Now, in order to observe the experiment on the dog, the observer kept himself hidden from the view of the dog so that the dog will not be able to see him. Yet, in order to observe the experiment, a set of mirrors were fitted. Now, as the observer has hidden himself from the view of the dog, an arrangement was made in this experiment so that food will be given to the dog through automatic devices. So what is this arrangement in detail? According to this arrangement, every time the food was presented before the dog, it will accompany a ringing bell, which means that when the food is given to the dog, a bell will be rung. This went on for a while. Now when the food was put before the dog and the bell was rung, it was observed that there was automatic secretion of saliva from the dog's mouth. This activity was repeated several times and every time the amount of saliva secreted was measured. Now after several trials, at last the dog was given no food but the bell was still rung. So even in the absence of food, it was observed that the dog was still salivating. So it was found out that in the absence of food, the ringing of the bell caused the dog to secrete the saliva. In this experiment of learning, Pavlov has represented food as natural stimulus, the bell as artificial stimulus, and saliva as natural response. Now, on the basis of this experiment, Pavlov considered learning as habit formation based on the principle of association and substitution, which means that habit is formed or learned as a result of association and substitution. Now you see that the natural stimulus, that is the food, and artificial stimulus, that is the bell, they are perfectly associated that even without natural stimulus or even without giving food to the dog, the dog responded by salivating by the artificial stimulus, that is the bell. So in this case, the natural stimulus was substituted or replaced by an artificial stimulus. Why? Because even in the absence of natural stimulus, artificial stimulus evoked the natural response. So according to Pavlov, learning is simply a stimulus response type wherein the natural stimulus is replaced by artificial stimulus, thus enabling artificial stimulus to evoke natural response. Now we will learn the experiment by Watson. 
Watson, he conducted a number of experiments and one of the experiments was done on a human baby of 11 months. Now this 11 months old baby name was Albert. He was given a rabbit to play with and you know rabbits are very cute so naturally Albert wanted to touch the rabbit. So he did. He touched the fur of the rabbit and he was pleased. Meanwhile, Watson was carefully watching and observing the pleasant responses of the baby. But after some time, in the course of the experiment, when the baby was about to touch the rabbit, a loud noise was produced. This loud noise frightened the baby, and every time he tried to touch the rabbit, the loud noise was produced, and it kept on going. This gave him fear response. After some time, he began to fear the rabbit, even if no noise was accompanied. In this way, he learned to fear the rabbit through conditioning. What does it mean to learn by conditioning or what is the process of learning by conditioning? Now, learning by conditioning is a learning process whereby an artificial stimulus is able to behave like a natural stimulus when both the natural and artificial stimuli are presented together. Now, in this kind of learning, Association plays a very important role. It plays a great role since the individual responds to an artificial stimulus because he associates it with a natural stimulus. Now that we know the background study of classical conditioning theory of learning, let us take a look into the education implications of this theory. The theory of conditioning is not only limited to laboratory experiment itself, but we can use it in our day-to-day -day life and we do use it. For example, reward and punishment. Reward and punishment is based on condition. A teacher or a parent can condition the child by punishing him for misdeeds and reward him for good deeds. In this case, when the child does something bad and punishment is inflicted on the child, the child will be scared to commit the same mistake. Or when the child is rewarded for a good deed, the pleasant response will help the child to repeat it and develop good values. The conditioning process is very helpful in developing desired habits or desirable habits, interest, attitude, etc. It is also helpful in language learning and removing superstitions, belief in a child's mind, as well as adjusting with a new classroom, new environment or new school. All these will make the child in adjusting with the real life challenging situations. So that is all in this video. Thank you so much for watching.